everybody, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel and in today's video I'll show you how I use Notability and Google Sheets for paperless packing lists. I am always amazed at people who don't use packing lists. I would forget at a minimum 10% of the stuff that I needed to bring, which would be inconvenient in the extreme. Even if I don't use a packing list to aid while packing for shorter trips, for example, I always use one as a check afterwards to make sure that I remembered everything. So I know that there are a billion apps out there specifically designed to create packing lists, and I've tried out a bunch of them. But for whatever reason, I really prefer having all of my packing items on a single piece of paper and marking them off one by one. I don't like having things organized by someone else's categories or the effort that's required to change those categories. I wanna be able to sort my list in a way that makes packing efficient, so basically by location in my house, and I have problems with the visual spacing of these items on these apps. I always have a problem with spacing. I seem to want things much closer together than the average developer. So I needed a solution that looked and felt like a low-tech packing list, but that was paperless and took advantage of some high-tech options like ease of duplication and quickly adding situational items. So here's my solution using a combination of Google Sheets and Notability. Google Sheets categorizing. The first thing I did was create a giant list of packing items in Google Sheets. Then I labeled each by a category in a separate column. Here are my categories my list, my husband's list, my dog's list, and last minute. So these were the groupings that I wanted to see on my packing sheet. And then I ordered them manually within those categories based on packing convenience and assigned them numbers so they wouldn't get sorted out of order. In the next columns, I tagged each item to appear in, one, in three packing templates, master list, Laura's one night list, and family one night list. Next, templates in Notability. So I wanted a slightly neater looking list than this spreadsheet format, plus I wanted it all to be on one page. So I opened Notability and I created three templates. I used the text function to make labels for the categories, and then I screenshot the spreadsheet by category, and then brought it into Notability using the Add Media button. Then I cropped the photo so that it showed just the items in the category that I wanted, and I placed it on the page. And I did that for each of my categories. So that seems like a lot of work, right? Well, since I didn't want to go through this every time, I made this note into a template by calling it packing list dash template. Now, whenever I have a trip coming up, I duplicate this template by pressing down on the title, choosing to duplicate, and then renaming the new list. So in this case, we have a beach trip coming up to Lewis Beach. I'll delete template copy and then replace that with Lewis Beach. So now I'll just write in other stuff that I want to bring or I need to remember. I replicated this process to create the family one night template, but my one night packing list for myself is shorter, so I just brought in the screenshot and I didn't bother creating any categories in the notability note. Packing list for kids. So you'll notice that I don't have any kids stuff on my master packing list template. I used to, but at 15 and 13, they are old enough to pack for themselves and they don't really want me involved except to give very high level instructions. I can't persuade everyone in my house to go paperless, so I have to print theirs out. Here's my kid packing list template. I assume that they have a main bag and a smaller carry-on, even if it's just a car trip. I leave blank so that I can fill in things like the number of outfits they need, socks or bathing suits, and nice outfits. I have a blank next to shoes so that I can specify when they need to remember to pack flip-flops, nice shoes, etc. And then there is an area underneath where I can add extra items like field hockey uniform or tennis bag for tournament trips. I can fill this out in about three minutes and then I print it out and cut it in half, one half for each kid. My kids really depend on having this as a guide when they start packing. Situational. So you'll notice that my packing list does not cover every situation, right? There are obviously different items required when we go to the beach or we travel internationally, for example. 
For, for those trips that happen more routinely, I have situational lists that I can cut and paste onto my packing list. These are also organized in that same spreadsheet in Google Sheets under a separate tab. I have them already pulled into a note in Notability called situational or other packing lists. So let's say we're taking an international trip. I'll go into the situational note, copy the lists, then go back into my packing list and paste it in. So now I can choose to edit it and to crop it so that it only shows the parts that apply to my trip, which would be airplane and international travel. If several portions of the list apply, I can make another copy and crop it, or I can just use the whole list and mark off the parts that I don't need. Simpler system. If you don't have multiple templates to manage, you can simplify this whole system by bypassing the use of Google Sheets and typing your list directly into Notability. Visually, I prefer this system, but it does add a level of complexity that may not be required in your situation. I've been using this system for many years and I still love it. It's expandable and it's reasonably easy to edit. My templates and situational note permanently reside in Notability. I delete all of the other packing lists as soon as the trip is over. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated and thanks for watching.